France, Germany, Belgium, uh, United States, Australia, Canada, uh, everywhere in Europe. Pretty much everywhere Tibetan centers uh, have uh, opened since the 70s, we have found some cases of sexual abuse. Uh, our investigation sheds light for the first time on numerous sexual abuse cases from Buddhist teachers on their disciples. I'm aware that many people have a very rosy image of Buddhism, so they expect Buddhism to be clean of all the dirt that you'll find elsewhere. It has been a process for people to come to terms with the fact that there's so much ab abuse, and I think that's still ongoing. In the West, we have a very rosy image of Tibetan Buddhism. We think um, of harmless meditative monks. We think of movies that we've all seen with uh, Keanu Reeves or Brad Pitt. But we, there are many things about Tibetan Buddhism that we don't know and that are much more violent. Um, and we believe that this film is going to necessarily change the perception that we have of Tibetan Buddhism. We've also found very rarely seen footage, for example, a footage of the Dalai Lama himself back in 1993 in Dharamsala, where he received a lot of uh, Western Buddhist teachers and the question of sexual abuse was addressed. It was the center of the conference that was organized around the Dalai Lama at the time. And the ar archive that we found is actually pretty interesting because we see that the Dalai Lama himself was very reluctant to intervene at the time. I have received many letters from women, many women, saying, please, what can be done? Do something. We've had the opportunity to follow a trial for eight months in Belgium. It is the trial of a Belgian guru, a Buddhist teacher called Robert Spatz. And among the accusers of Robert Spatz, there's one character that we uh, felt what was at the center of the investigation. He's called Ricardo. Ricardo has been investigating stories of sexual abuse, his own story of, of abuse within his own community, but also he's been helping other victims of sexual abuse within Tibetan Buddhism. So we felt it was the right choice to make him the narrator of our documentary. <laughs> 